you, my lovelies. My name is Oblika K, and welcome back to our Pokemon Soul Silver Randomized Nuzlocke Challenge episode 14. If you guys are super excited for today's episode, then make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the notification bell rung so that you don't miss these episodes when they go up, usually on Mondays. I know this is a Wednesday, but I had a hard time with midterms this week, and therefore it got delayed to today. But you get two uploads, and we finally get to do this video. So today, we are going to do a quick team recap, but today's episode is going to be defeating the Kimono Girls, getting the title belt, going to World Islands, and capturing whatever our randomized encounter is for Lugia. Now Lugia, I think, is level 70? No, 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 level 40. He's level 40 in this game when we first encounter him at the island. So whatever Pokemon it is, is gonna be level 40. Pretty high level. So hopefully it's something super good and awesome because then we'll be able to capture it. And we get an encounter for World Island, which is freaking super extra awesome because I love getting encounters. But let's first do a quick team recap. We have Poodles here at level 34, Fire, Rock type with Age of Power, Ember, Recover, and Yawn. Victor, level 36 with Mega Drain, Sweet Scent, Magical Leaf, and Sunny Day. Unicorn Pug, level 35 with Surf Whirlpool, Bride, Extra Sensory. Baratosh, level 37 as our beautiful type lotion with Cut, Lava Plume, Foam Wheel, and Swift. And Skyland, level 36 with Strength, Extra Sensory, Hypnosis, Confuser, and last but not least, the OP awesome Gen 1 member of our team, Masijo, with Fly, Thunderbolt, Thunderwave, and Ancient Power. So, we are going to go in here with our amazing, amazing crew and fight these Kimono Girls so we can get the title battle to complete the Lugia event. Welcome, my name is Suki. <laughs> I met you previously in Byway City in order to bring back Lugia. We need someone with the right bond with Pokemon. <laughs> we asked Mr. Pokemon to get this mystery egg to whoever showed true potential. The egg was eventually hatched from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Egg and then to you. <laughs> Alone will not be sufficient to fix the power of this Pokemon. I must test you. Are you ready? I will test you how closely you've bonded with your Pokemon. Alright, we just get the shutter door shut there. Holy cow, level 38 Sea King. No thank you. No thank you at all. Let's, let's get Victor out here immediately and start mega draining this fool. Aqua Rain is only gonna give you more help for me to suck away from you. As long as he doesn't have more grill. And as long as that doesn't connect, God forbid, we should be fine. Please tell me we have not fine with that flail and water pulse. Are perfectly acceptable. Now normally these Komodo girls have all the evolutions, except for Glaceon and Leafeon. So Jolteon, Vaporeon, um I'm the one from Alex Forest. My eyes witnessed to defeating Team Rocket when Kurt was in trouble. The slow of what? <laughs> Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. But they have Flareon, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Espeon, and Umbreon, generally. Ooh, okay. We got Brottle going on here. When Brottle evolves into its final evolution, this is the start of Pokemon from Generation 4, it becomes ground grass type, which is pretty darn cool. I think it's the only ground grass type, to... now that I'm thinking about it. So we've beaten two of the five. You are quite the trainer. I remember you chasing off the Team Rocket Clan from right here. I must thank you for that. Although I am not actually a trainer, she knows the most speaks. She who knows the most speaks the least. <laughs> I am Miki, the Kimono Girl. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. All right. If anything, this is just fan fantastic experience. All right. I am not happy with the health situation I got going on. All right. Thunder Fang. Ooh. We made it through anyway. Heck to the yeah! Thunderfang is upon us. Oh, I would rather not have that happen, please. So, we're just gonna switch out to Sky. 100%, we're just gonna switch out to Sky. And, oh, please go through the confusion. Thank you. Get rid of that Luxio with this swagger. Oh my god. Talk about annoying. Alright, so we've defeated Miki, Zuki, and whoever else. Excellent fighting spirit! You caught me off the ice by pushing me from the back. I'm the one who skates and samples. I'm Sayo, the Kimono girl. I was listening in the dragon's den when you passed the test of the elephant. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon! Alright, you quintuplets. Oh, okay, I see. You got a pixie legendary Pokemon of Jirachi. Base 100 stats all the way around. I... 
Hi, I see you, I see you. And for those of you who don't know, Hirachi is still psychic type, and because we are Zen kind but oofed, and because we are fire type, we can do Ember. right now. I really can't, but we were faster. So, another lava plume. We'll get rid of it. Oh! No! No, 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 no! I'm the last one! I don't care what you have to say! You're freaking quick tiplet just ruined by starter Pokemon! Oh my god. I'm, I'm not happy, guys. I'm Oh, you are so dependable at the golden light tunnel. I am the one who twirls even at the ground. I am going to fucking look at I look at you and wonder when you thwarted Team Rocket's mission to take over the radio tower. You must show me your strength now. I love to challenge you and your Pokemon. I, I knew Jirachi was a legendary Pokemon, but I didn't think that her psychic was going to be so powerful that it would freaking kill. <laughs> that it would kill ghouls. I didn't think it was that bad. And then. A critical hit, thankfully, was enough for Feratosh to handle at full health, but ugh. I I am not gonna have a fun time walking back to the Pokemon Center to deposit poodles. Let's get that straight. No, I'm not wrong about you. You're indeed worthy of this piece. Take it. Alright, lovely to the title bell. Oh, tiny person. Big sisters! I just saw the big shadow of a Pokemon at Whirl Island's waters! It could be Lovely! Wait, we at the way I I'll see you there. All right. And now I gotta go meet about the World Island, but not before we go to the Pokemon Center. Oh, God. And I'm not gonna pick a Pokemon to replace Poodles with yet because we are going to get an encounter at World Island, and it could be awesome. And if it's not awesome, that's also okay because we have... Lugia, or whatever is going to replace Lugia as well. Oh, this makes me so sad. So we're just gonna rock with the team of five for right now, and then we'll figure out who we want to add at the end of the episode after we've done that. But oh, guys, my little, my little heart, my fucking heart is is not happy. <sighs> okay, well. I'm so mad. I don't want to talk to the kimono girls. I don't want to do anything with them. And yet they're making me come out here to freaking be their friend. I don't like it. Is there a shop on this island? Because I only had nine Ultra Balls, and that's not going to cut it. There is not. So I don't know why I flew out here, but I don't even have the Pokeballs to capture whatever it is I want to capture. We are going to All Mine City. And then we're buying Pokeballs. And then we're going to World Island. And if I remember right, you only have to go into one of the caves to get the right ladders in order to get your encounter, and also to get to Lugia. So instead of messing around with the four different islands, there's just one of them that you can go into and it'll lead you straight to Lugia. If what I remember is true. Okay, like we need to get more- ooh, 84. I don't think we need that many. However, I will take- hmm, let's take- 51 of them. We'll have 60. How about that? We'll buy 51 Pokeballs. And then we have Hyper Potions. Oh, yeah. Give me 25 of those. Ooh, so good. Okay. 10,000. Oh, we have four stores. Oh! Oh, I'm buying the four stores. That's happening. It's happening right now. Four stores are the best. I wouldn't have wasted my money on Hyper Potions if I knew we had four stores. Shut up, Joey! My teammate is dead, but I don't want to talk to you. We can still get to the world islands that we need to this way. If I remember right, it's the top right island 
So, of the four islands that are in the quadrant, it's the one in the upper right hand corner. I see you, Delta. I remember capturing you a long time ago and naming you after a lovely, lovely person. You need to step off and let me be. Okay, okay, clearly. Clearly. These Pokemon are not gonna get off of our hide, so we are gonna have to shoot a rappel on them. Because I'm not about that. I'm not about any of that right now. Okay, cancel. Let's go. All the way to the island. Okay, so we are over here. And I think it's this one that's to our left. Yeah, it was a weird one that was kind of hard to get to. So I think it's this one. We're about to find out. We'll be able to get our encounter for World Island and... Lugia! Write in the comments down below what you think the encounter for Lugia is going to be replaced with. It might be a legendary, it might not be, because this game is super freaking randomized and I did not scale the randomization to be of equal base power. So it could be absolutely anything. Oh great, we don't even get light! That's my favorite. It's my absolute favorite thing. Oh, it's when we have to have a Pokemon with Flash. I really hope we don't need to have Flash and I can just run into walls. Oh, that's right, our encounter! We don't need Repel on because we want to get an encounter. Okay, what is our encounter? <gasps> our encounter for World Island is going to be... Another Aggron! I remember when we couldn't capture Aggron before. This is our second chance! Oh, it's such a good defensive Pokemon. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do Magical Leaf. That should kill it. Oh! <gasps> Woo! Hot diggity dog! That was super duper close. Okay, so let's go ahead and get Unicorn Pug out here. We're gonna put him to sleep. Alright, you can iron defense up all you want. I ain't gonna be hurting you at all. Oops, wrong Pokemon. So it's Sky that has hypnosis on it. I forgot that we took it off of uh, Unicorn Pug so she could learn Whirlpool and actually let us come here. Alright, let's your ball. Go! Yes! Oh, first try! You don't replace poodles by any means, but you are still a wonderful, wonderful encounter. Iron armor Pokemon. Steel rock type. You can tell its age by the length of its iron horns. It claims an entire mountain as its victory. Give a nickname to Agron. Absolutely, I'm going to give a nickname to Agron. And I'm going to name it after a lovely person who commented on the most recent episode, which would be episode 13. And I also know that we have episode 12, so I'll look in the comments of both of those for somebody. And even if you've been named after a Pokemon, if there are no new nicknames, I'll name people after... <laughs> I'll name people after the Pokemon again. Oh, nope, I don't want to hear any of that advertisement. I seriously just want to go to my videos and check it out. I, I should have, as a, uh, you know, smart and totally professional YouTuber, I should have gone and had these already uploaded, but that's okay. That's okay. We're gonna pretend like I had it all already to begin with, and you guys are coming along with me. La 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 la. All right, now, interesting. Okay, I don't think I've named anybody after Game Explainer yet. So Game Explainer, <laughs> they said third. Thank you guys for being here and being on the comments of the video. I appreciate it. And I didn't respond to any of these guys. What? That's weird. Okay, I'm gonna have to respond to those comments after the video. That bothers me that I didn't respond to anybody. That's not like me at all. That really bothers me, but I'm going to Name it after Game Explainer. Thank you so much, Explainer, for being here for my FNAF streams, for Pokemon, for pretty much everything. You are a wonderful member of our lovely family. Explain. Game Explay. Game. Alright, we're gonna do Game. Game EXP. And it's. People are gonna think it's experience, but it's not. We, in our heart of hearts, know it stands for Game Explainer. And if we do EXP. Game Explo. Game Explo! I like that. And it's a girl, so ending in an uh is usually feminine in America. So Game Explo is going to be our encounter for World Island. Oh, I love it. And it was level 23, which is not a bad level. If I have to grind up Game Explo, I'm not even going to be mad. Espeon. All right, that's a good Pokemon, but I don't think it's as good as Agron. So I'm happy that we got that one. I'm not sure exactly where we're going. Volby. That would have been a terrible encounter. Thank god we did not get that. I think I went too far because I don't remember us having to jump over any ledges. Blue flute. Alright. Strike. Do we have to move around here? Nope. 
Okay. Yep, not sure what I'm doing with that. I'm pretty sure I took a wrong turn. Hmm, yep, I'm running into ledges. Oh, this is not a good time. Do I even get good experience from this? I, it's a bug type, and I'm a grass type. Bug is super effective against grass, so it would behoove me to not engage in that encounter. At all. No thank you. Please step off. I dislike all of you. Okay. <laughs> I hate it. Espeon is good for experience, though. If I had to train in more islands, I wouldn't be too upset about that, because it's pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. And I would like to get Victor up to level 37. Ooh. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That was just delicious. <laughs> Suck it up. So good experience. I'm pretty sure this puts its... <sighs> That's this wrong island. It put us all the way over on the left island. I think we just came out of the left top island? I messed that up a lot. We are all the way on another completely different area. Okay, let's not mess it up this time. Go back to the other island because I know that that's where it is that we need to be. How do I get off? How do I get off this island? Is there any way? There's, there's... Ah. Oh yes, okay. Okay, I see how. I am not entirely dumb. If I use my eyes and my, uh, my, my big adult brain, then I should be able to figure out a way to maneuver away from these moments. Get out of here, Drapion. I don't want to deal with you right now. Now, I don't know that I would add Agra to the team. To the team. To the team. Because we already have Skyland. And Skyland is Steel Psychic type. And while Agra would be a major defensive element, we definitely don't need another fire type because we have Typhlosion. We can add an element to the team that wasn't there before. So maybe we have a dark type Pokemon that we can add for. A water type, or we already have a water type, or an ice type Pokemon, or whatever it is. We're gonna have to take stock of who it is that we even have. Or a normal type, a really good normal type Pokemon, because they can learn a ton of TMs and they can learn a lot of different moves. So it would be good to have that too. Is this the right island? This is not. This is the bottom. This is the bottom right island. I was talking and not paying attention. We need to go to the one straight above us. I went too far. I too far. But as far as type weaknesses on our teams go, Unicorn Pug is straight water. Victor is straight grass. Typhlosion is straight fire. <laughs> straight fire. He's lit. Um. And then Steel Psychic is fire. We have Water Absorb. We have Mesijo, which is electric flying. Um, rock types. What do we have against rock types? We have Unicorn Pug and Skyland. I think Skyland resists rock as well. So we already kind of have our bases covered pretty darn well. And electricity. We don't really have something for electricity, so maybe a ground type to be able to nullify any electrical charges that might come our way, such as that frickin' Luxio that kept- or Luxio, Luxio, however it is you want to pronounce that Pokemon's name, that kept thunderfanging us to death. Alright, we're gonna go back over here, because I know that it was just a straight shot, and if we go over any ledges, we've gone too far. Oh, they- okay, my- my life flashed before my eyes, and Poodle's finally- Poodle's biting the dust after so many close encounters. Poodle, how many close run-ins has Poodle had with death? And this time, he die, she dies to a frickin' Jirachi of a legendary. Jirachi isn't even as strong as Palkia or Groudon, which she had faced those legendaries and survived when they were using stab moves against her. So why Jirachi? Why? The IVs must have been perfect. It must have been 31 special attack IV on that frickin' Jirachi because there's no other conceivable way that I can understand or rationalize how the psychic killed Poodles when she had survived so much before that. Okay, I think this is the latter. It is. Perfect. I don't know. Some things go beyond comprehension, and I think Poodle's death is unfortunately one of those. Ooh, Polygraph! Okay, well, I already have the better version of you, which is my Polycoot. Okay, let's go through this man. That thing you have. Our silver wing. You have found it. Please, go ahead. Alright, I don't know what accent that is or what voice it is, but it's that bald monk's thing you got going on. Hardstone. Okay, let's save the game because uh, I'm super paranoid and I don't want the game to glitch out after we've gone through so much trouble to get here. 
Zatu. Okay. There's some interesting Pokemon here on the bottom floor. It's, it's not the same Espeon and Volbeat. It's not the dark floor. Interesting. I'm gonna Mega Drain you because you look like you'd be a really good experience as a fully evolved stage 3 23 Pokemon. Ooh, 683. That is nice. The experience up in this place is not bad at all. <laughs> as we come across a Hoppet that isn't even worth the time of day to recognize it as Pokemon that exists. Holograph we might be able to get rid of in one hit because it's water, fighting type, and grass is super effective against water. And that was exactly right. Alright guys, let's save the game again because why the heck not and let's see what happens. That's right. This is where we found Lugia, when the dance we practiced many days ago became one with the sound of the title bed we entrusted to. Then, Lugia shall come out from the deep within the Waterfall Basin once again. Okay, so they have to do a dance with the title bell and with the silver wing in our pocket, and our pure of heart and soul will be able to call Lugia out from his slumber in the waterfall and do it. This is actually really pretty. As kind of hoity-toity, touchy-feely as that whole thing is, I think it's quite pretty. And I like the cinematic element that they've added to the game. This is from a long time ago. This is from the early 2010s, so I think in like 2012 is when Soul Silver came out. Something like that, six years ago. So for the time, this was really, really cool. And I still think it's impressive. Ooh. Okay, that's amazing. That is just freaking amazing. Ah! Oh my god! That is indeed Lucia, the guardian of these islands from ancient times. So many have tried again and again, only to fail. Lovely, your heart has to be in complete harmony with the title bell. It has finally allowed it to appear. Lovely, don't you see? Lucia, it must have been waiting for someone like you all this time. Wouldn't you agree? Um, sure. I would totes agree. Totes adorbs. Again, saving the game. Always, always saving the game. Oof. Talk about a beautiful thumbnail right here, guys. Beautiful! Alright. What Pokemon cry was that? It's a. I think it's a psychic type. I've heard that call before. It's not a legendary Pokemon. It's not. I don't think it's like, gonna be anything really worth our while, unfortunately. Oh! This is the absolute biggest disappointment. Bit of. Nobody loves you! Oh my god! That's just a slap in the face. I mean, a Magikarp at least can evolve into a Gyarados, a bit of evolves into a Bibarel. Which is also a trash Pokemon. Benef is the worst Pokemon in the flip, 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 flipping, flipping, flipping game. I don't even know if I want to capture it. All right, this is just dumb. I'm. Uh... All right, yeah, I see you, Super Fang. You need to take a half my health. I don't care. Okay, I I care a little bit because you could, you know, hurt me and kill me, and I refuse to lose any Pokemon to this stupid piece of trash. Ugh. I am not happy. We had pools die. Our amazing Lugia encounter is a frickin' bit of. And I don't know what to do with myself. I'm not wasting an Ultra Ball. Or, I'm sorry, Master. Just first try. What the absolute heck just happened? Plump Mouse Pokemon. It lives in groups by the water. It chews up boulders and trees around its nest with its incisors because it has nothing better to do with its lousy existence. Oh! <gasps> Give a nickname to the cop Biddulf? Yes. And I uh, know exactly what I'm gonna name you. Nope, I'm not even gonna look for a name. You are Disappointment. Disappoint. Disappoint. I think it has two S's. Disappoint has two S's, so. Does it? I'm gonna look it up right now. And I'm gonna look up how to spell Disappoint specifically so that I can be correct in what to say to you, because I hate you that much, I'm going to figure out how to spell disappointment because you're that shameful bit of. You are that much of a pain in my side, a thorn in my foot. I dislike everything about you and what you stand for. 
I could have had so many other Pokemon. Ugh. I hate everything. Oh, it's two Ps! Okay. That's what it was. I knew that there was a double vowel in there. Or a double consonant in there somewhere, but it's P P O I N T. Disappoint. Disappoint! You are a freaking disappointment. And yeah, that happened. Alright, are you gonna talk to me now? Because I have just captured this amazing beast. You have not only Rukia up here, but you have also caught it. You are so wonderful. There's nothing more for us to say. Take good care of yourself in your journey. So you've spent your entire life as Komodo Girls protecting and looking after the Guardian of the Sea, and you're just gonna entrust it with a ten-year-old boy that came up and just threw a Pokeball at it and assumed that everything's gonna be fine now that he's under my control? If that was actually Lugia, you wouldn't want it to be captured by a trainer because you'd want it to get out. You'd want it to continue to live its life and live its existence. But she, yeah, that would have been really, really cool to have on me. And, and do its job of protecting the sea because he can't do that. I am not going to lose victory to this freaking champ, let me tell you what. Uh, I don't know. People, people are dumb. The Pokemon games make very little sense to me sometimes because you've just kind of ruined it. Now the sea can't be guarded because Lugia is under your control and I don't have an escape rope. That's what I was looking for. But you know what we do have? Super repels. And it's not going to be that long to get out of the cave, so we should have our health on long enough to get out of here. And I'm not even concerned about the other items. I don't care about the other items. I don't care what you have to say, Erwin. Go away, Erwin. I don't want to talk to you. I really don't. Get out of here with your nonsense. I have had too many disappointment... Disappointing? Excuse me. Let me use that as an adjective and not a noun. Happened to me. I can't deal with your shenanigans on top of it all. I just can't. I can't even. I, like, can't even right now if my total white girl comes out. <sighs> okay, we need to figure out who we are gonna have as the next member of our team. And then, what is this? The Battle Frontier? What's that? Spar Zone? Um, New Bark Town? Mount Silver is over there. Where are we supposed to go next? Obviously, the Elite Four, because we have all of the stuff, but we have all of the badges. But where would the Elite Four be? I would figure we'd have to take a waterfall to get to it. Isn't isn't it over here? Do we have to go back to New Bark Town and then swim to the right? Is that what we do? I honestly don't remember. I don't remember at all. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's find out. I'm pretty sure our mom heals us like a Pokemon Center. Oh, you have no money saved. Okay, I, I really don't care. I would like to... Okay, I, I don't want to do any of that. I just wanted you to heal me, but you won't even do that, mother. You are a failure of a parent. Now, I want to go that far, but... She is pretty darn useless. Is there even water over here for me to swim against? Or is it a tree line? Oh, no, there is. Okay. Well, then. We are gonna go in this direction and see what's over here. Explore, Route 27. So is this a new route? This has to be a new route. Right? Oh god, who is this man? Hey! Do you know what you just did? You've taken your first step into Kanto. Check your Poke Gear map and see. Wait, what? You're taking our first step into Kanto? OMG, yes we did. Ah, Toho Falls is right there, so we can get another encounter, and we can get an encounter on Route 27. Ah. Oh my god, that's so cool. And Entei's right there. Ooh. Okay, that is freaking phenomenal. So we can get an encounter on this route, but I'm gonna switch Pokemon, because if we're already out here, then I'm not gonna have Victor in front. They are just not doing their job. Uh, can I stop going in the back? That's not what I want to do. I want to switch Skyland to the front. And then... I want to... Oh, God, I don't even know. Toho Falls? I know we're gonna have to go in there. Alright. So we can get an encounter in Toho Falls. We can get an encounter on Route 27. Do we want to 
want to fish for it? Do we want to go on the water? I'm gonna go on the water. I'm gonna wait until our repel wears off, which shouldn't take too long at all. Toho Falls. Okay. Also, we're gonna go ahead and just wait for repel to wear off. Mighty waterfall rules. Do I have to teach waterfall to a Pokemon? Don't I have waterfall? Or do I not get that until after I beat the Elite Four? Um, no, I do have waterfall. I do. I do, I do, I do. So a Pokemon of mine is going to be able to learn that. Only Unicorn Pug is able to learn it? Uh, okay. Okay, hold on. I see what's going on here. I didn't realize we were gonna get so many encounters in this episode, but I'm not mad about it. If she has to learn, oh, I can't fly there because I'm in a different region? Well, that is just a stupid rule. I don't like that at all. All right, whatever. We're gonna swim back to Johto then, so that fucking... Oh, is it... Is this Route 27? Our encounter for this route is going to be... <gasps> oh my god, a Salamance? Oh my god! Okay, this is an amazing, 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 amazing fight. Please, for the love of god, let me capture you. You are beautiful, perfect, amazing, just the way you are. This girl, you're amazing. And it is female. Just the way you are. But it works for men, too. Okay, so fast asleep appear to be cut. Um, can I just get you in a ball, please? Oh, come on, you did a trip to jiggle. You know you want to get in this ball. You know you want to be in front of my team, Sunlands. Alright, how about... No, I can't really do anything to you, can I, that I love? You know, I really want to capture you. You woke up and are confused. Can I hypnosis you again and you hurt yourself? There we go, perfect. Alright, come on, Salamans. Oh, yes. All I had to do was punch itself in the face once and we're good. Oh, with the dragon Pokemon. It doesn't even mess around, it just tells it like it is. It's uncontrollable if enraged. It flies around spouting flames and scorching fields and mountains. This is such a strong, pseudo legendary Pokemon. Absolutely, I'm going to give our beautiful, beautiful girl a name here. And now, I'm going to go back to our episode on here and see if there's any other wonderful, wonderful people who have yet to be named after a Pokemon. Let me see. Let me go to episode 13 and see what's going on with this one. See what's happening happening in this neck of the woods. Hmm. Um, I don't think... I don't know if I've named one. Hmm. Agent Romanoff. I have not named one after her. That is faux show. First, ha! LOL, hey lovely. Hi, Agent Romanoff. Thank you for being a supporter on my channel for so long. You are amazing, and I'm very glad that we met from Mr. Red's Gaming. I hope that you are healing up well, and that your leg or knee is getting better. Agent, mm, I'm gonna name you Romanoff, because I want it to fit completely, and Romanoff is just such a good name anyway. How do you spell it? Because I don't want to spell it incorrectly and have to go back and, and change everything. So it's Rome, Roman Romanoff. It's spelled exactly how it sounds. Romanoff. That is an amazing encounter. I saw that it went to Rip, which is incorrect, but that's okay. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm totally fine with that right now. I know exactly who we are adding to the party. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So Romanoff is coming onto our team. Now, as far as the move, Whirlpool goes. We need to delete that and get Waterfall on Unicorn Pug instead. Because we're gonna need that for pretty much everybody else. Uh, the move, you're the move deleter? You're the move maniac. Okay, it costs a heart skill. Are you the move deleter? You are. Okay. Perfect. I like that they're all in the same house because it makes it very, very easy to do all these things at once. Okay. Get rid of Whirlpool. Completely delete it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to know about it. I don't want to do anything with it. And now I'm going to use Waterfall and teach it to Unicorn Bug. And then one of these people teaches Draco Meteor as well. So if we go grab Salamance, our Ruminal, from the PC, let me go ahead and just heal everybody up first. We can go check out the stats of the two Pokemon, three Pokemon actually, that we've caught. I guess we can look at Disappointment. Let's see what's happening here. So let's move some Pokemon around. Uh, 
<laughs> bit off and yeah, I'm gonna move you. You need to be over here, in fact. You go over there and you, I think it's, it's full up, isn't it? Yep. All right, so we are going to put you there and then you are joining our team. Now, let's go take a look at all of our Pokemon that are in here. We need to take a look at, where did, oh, Agron's in the other one. So let's look at Disappointment. Look at the summary of it. Come here. Ah, quirky nature, huh? Which is neutral, unaware, ignores any change in ability by the foe. Take down Super Fang, Super Power, and Curse. You are trash. Absolute freaking booty. I hate you. I hate everything about you and your stupid chubby face. Get out of my way. All right, Agron, Miss Spirit, er, Miss Game Explorer, Game Explainer. Well, let's see. A modest nature. Okay. High special attack, low attack. That is a terrible nature for an Agron. Absolutely awful because it's made and built for attack and not special attack, but whatever. Headbutt, Metal Claw, Iron Defense, and Roar. All right, so everything is going against Oofed, that Agron there. That is super disappointing. Much like disappointment. A hasty nature. Okay, that means it has high speed and low defense. I'm okay with that. High speed is freaking awesome. Intimidate lowers the post attack. That is very, very good. It's pulling a mind plate. We can give that to Sky, and it's going to be even more powerful for boosting the psychic type moves and the twisted spoon. Oh my god, that's amazing. With bite, leer, headbutt, and focus energy. Guys, that attack stat, though. That attack stat, though. 61. Oh my god, let's go. That's freaking amazing. Can I teach you waterfall? Ooh, I think I can teach it waterfall. Because that would just be a good move for it to have. I can get rid of it off of Unicorn Pug because Unicorn Pug is a special attacker. Ooh, things are clicking in my mind. Okay, okay. Ah, I can't learn it. Okay. I was hopeful, but unfortunately that didn't come to fruition. I think Draco Meteor is also a special attack. I know it is. So it wouldn't do us really any good to teach it's a Salamance, except for the fact that it's a Dragon-type move. It might make grinding a little bit easier. Uh, Dragon Tamer. Uh, if you want to take a look at Roman off, I wouldn't mind. That Pokemon you have can learn this move, but it hasn't come to trust you fully yet. Uh, well, that's because I just caught it. Ultimate move to let you twin through your Pokemon. Um, sure. You want to teach... Oh, Blast Burn? Blast Burn is freaking awesome. It's... I mean, it, uh, yeah, I am definitely gonna get rid of Swift for that. Boom! Oh, we can get rid of Cut? Thank freaking goodness, because Cut is complete trash. And I only learned it to get through places, but I don't think we're gonna really need it. <sighs> we're probably gonna need it to get through stuff, but... You know what? I can just make Disappointment my TM slave, because Biddup is a freaking loser and I hate him. Ugh, if he's gonna do anything, he might as well be a slave for me. Alright, so let's go ahead and take the mind plates from you. We're going to switch. Actually, no. What I meant to do was item give. And then we're going to go to the mind plates over here in number seven. No? Where's the mind plate then? Splash plate. Oh, there it is. Mind plate. I had two of them? Okay. Did not realize that. You have the Miracle Seed. You have the King's Rock. You have a Sharp Beak fly, and I don't know why you don't have anything, but I guess I can give you, ooh, life orb, that's risky, but a pretty good move, black belt, I don't think that would be good for, mm, moonstone, power herb, miracle seed, alright, I think we're gonna go balls to the walls here, and, <laughs> well, no, 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 let's do luck and sense, let's be a little more tactically smart, and then we'll go ahead and give Romanoff the experience share for now. Just for now. And the luck and sense doubles any money that we get from battle, so that's just a nice thing to have in general anyway. Alright, let's go ahead and fly all the way back to New Bark Town. Now that we have the waterfall taught to Unicorn Pug, and we can go to Toho Falls, get our encounter for Toho Falls. I don't think we're going to do much in the way of exploring Toho Falls, because I believe that's something that we do later on. But let's find out. Let's go ahead and get our encounter for Toho Falls is... Ooh, a Kingler! Interesting. That's a very interesting Pokemon to come across. Alright, well let's go ahead and send you the on out here. And 
I guess I'll attack you with water ball because it won't do much to you at all. There we go. Let's, let's do stuff. I didn't think it was going to be that super effective. All right, well, I'm sorry, guys. I totally fluffed that up. Fubberducked it hardcore. Oofed. Oh, okay. So Tobo Falls is just a tiny little area that you can get items from? Because I think it's just two waterfalls. I see you. Interesting. Oh, that's cool. I saw you, item. I could have had a Rayquaza! Oh my god. I mean, Romanoff, I love you, but if I could have had a Rayquaza, you know you would have been boxed so fast. And I need to teach TM to Feratosh, but oh my lordy. Unicorn Pug, you need to go grab this experience right now. Go grab it. Extra sensory. Oh, it has Hyper Voice? Oh my god! That would have been such a good Pokemon to have a uh, crunch. That makes me sad. <laughs> oh, Kingler, such a good Pokemon! Not compared to a Rayquaza, it's not! Jesus. Oh, another experience share, because the more the merrier. We definitely need more of that. Hey, Kingler, I don't want to look at you and be reminded of all of my failures. Just, just, just move on, please. Today has been a very up and down episode. Romanoff is the best thing that's happened, and we've just had some terrible things befall us. So I'd rather not look at a wasted Pokemon. Oh. Okay, it's rare to see a trainer out here. Well, obviously you're out here, Elite Four, right? <laughs> If you're part of the Elite Four, why are you out here? That's my question. That's your fault, huh? Alright, and let's flame will you out of here. Ooh, okay, static paralyzes us. We are going to switch Pokemon. Cherum, huh? I don't think Cherum is going to be able to do anything wrong, so... We're gonna come in here. Yeah. <laughs> Worry seed, I can't fall asleep? Oh no! Sunny day. Well, yeah, you can do solar beam now, but it also would be super not effective. And you're just gonna confuse yourself, so I'm fine with you, Pedal Dance again. Suddenly destroy me. Yeah, go ahead and Pedal Dance me, you're not gonna kill me. Alright. Made itself confused. And let's go ahead and heal up with a super potion. Nice and healthy. Oh, come on. You're supposed to hate yourself in confusion. Whatever. It was breaking through the confusion to do pedal dance like you dumb. Ooh, look at that, guys. Our attack is 64. I love it. Yeah, Matang. You're paralyzed, which means you're gonna be slow. Matang is also super slow. And I'm okay with that. And if we blast burn, oh, you're gonna go down. <laughs> 150. Stab. Move. You're dead. You're dead, son. You're dead, son. Okay. This little, little tiny house on the prairie. The Pokemon League? Are your Pokemon loyal enough to win? TM37, okay. Sandstorm. I guarantee you it is not Sandstorm. What TM did we just get? It was TM37. Power Jam. That is a very strong Rock-type move. And the Siju can learn it? What? Oh, that's a super powerful Rock-type move. That would be such a good one for him to learn. Special Attacks 108. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And it has even more PP than Age of Power. That is perfect, beautiful, done, done deal. Crab Hammer, huh? 100 accuracy. That'd be really good for him to learn that. Nobody, really, that I would want to teach it to. Sky Attack is a two-turn one, right? With high hit rate being made of turn and flinch. That would be a really good one. Ooh, Romanoff can learn it. Okay, I'm gonna teach it to Romanoff because that is a very, very good move. And his attack is hella high! So Sky Attack, or her attack, I'm sorry, is very, very high. Rock 2. Yeah, that one's okay. Judgment's very, very good. Seismic Toss, Icy Wind, Counter Forsight. Thunder Bolt is also a very, very dope move, a good one to have. I'm trying to find one that I would want to teach to... Skull Bash. The user tucks his head in his defense and then rams into the foe. Fair Tosh. 
Everybody's able to learn that one. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna hold off on that one for now, but that is pretty darn awesome. Alright, let's keep going this way and see what's happening over here. This is a very, very long route. Route 27 is quite long. However, I see you boys again. I've already caught you, so you can just chill the heck out. Ooh, there's gonna be a lot of trainers on this route. And Salamander! I literally already have you. You know what? This would be a good experience for Romanoff. And I know she oofed, I was gonna say, has kinda low HP, but I can get her healed back up. And then I can sky attack you, and you can't do anything about it. Boom! Oh yeah, look at that. That was beautiful. Mwah. Love it. 155! And I did that on my own, which is great. So, I don't want... I don't want Farrakash out front because he's paralyzed and he only has three moves right now. So, Unicorn Pug is going to get up there instead because she also is on level 35. Everybody else is level 37. It's not the at all, but she's going to slowly get up there. Oh, this is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Get out of here. Get out of here! 36, huh? That's 22. 32. You know what? Easy. It is a bug type. I don't have anything super effective against it, but Psychic is neutral to bug, so I'll just kill it with extra sensory. And Rojigigas! Oh my god. Comes in enormous Pokemon, but it has slow start, which cuts its speed and attack for like five turns. It's terrible. <laughs> which makes it an awful Pokemon to use. Um, ooh, I do not want to risk. I don't wanna wanna risk any of that, so we're just gonna super poach it up. Ooh, I'm very glad that we didn't do that. In Rhine. Oh, critical hit. Dead. 730, oh my god, that would have been 1460 if we hadn't done anything. Blastoise? We could have had a Blastoise? That's so cool! I, I would not have um, kept the Blastoise because Romanoff is way better for us in the long run. She's gonna be a pain to level up because she's a pseudo legendary, but. Oof. Oh, thank you for the free HP, Blastoise. You're like a little Pokemon Center. Alright, I, I need to battle all of these trainers because Romanoff needs the experience just as much as Unicorn Pug needs to get to the same level as the rest of us. Ooh, but Corian, come after me, bro. Hit me with the, with the water pulse. You know you want to. Oh, stop attack. Oh my god. Are you freaking kidding me? Ah, oh, that's doing absolutely nothing. I'm not playing this game with you. Victor, just, just come out and magically leave this thing to death, please. This grass is super effective against water, and I do not want to deal with your shenanigans. Get out of here before we are. Okay. La, 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 la. If we're going to be attacking all of these trainers, I should just give the Unicorn Pug the Luck and Sense so that we can be getting as much money from these schools as possible. Because the Luck and Sense, like I said earlier, doubles all of the money that you get. So let me do that right now. That's not what I meant to do. I want to take that from you, and I want to give you the lucky sense. Yes, that. I would like to give you that. Alright. Perfect. Awesome sauce. Money in pants. Let's go. Face the psychic. We're gonna get through Route 27. Let's see how far we can get. Man's mine! Let's see what's going on with Bob Astro. Get out of here. It is water flying, which makes it incredibly hard for... Oh, I don't want to go out because it's flying. Alright, we're going to go into the Seedro. Because an electric type move is going to be four times super effective against this guy. And we're just going to kill him. Outright dead Dunsun. Boom! Dead Dunsun. Quagsire is ground water, which means that its ground typing makes it resistant to electric. And its weakness is four times weak to grass now, so grass type is the way to go. That's why we should have the victor. Boom! Got all of our health back. And lady, huh? I don't know why I say that, because grass is not super effective against that, but it's a freaking lady, and it's not gonna be able to do anything to us. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sky attack. Yeah, that is absolutely nothing. And then we'll go ahead and destroy it. Yeah, go ahead and raise your stats. I'm still gonna kill you. 
dead and done. Boom. And we got some more money from it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. You ain't got nothing on me. You ain't got nothing. Slime dog is so cute. This is so sloppy. Slimes are the best. Part of mine, huh? Let's switch to Vesigia. Let's go ahead and just fly our way out of this one. Yeah, you go ahead and stockpile. It ain't gonna do enough for ya. to make a difference. Illumise! Nah, man, we're staying in. Thunderbolt this away! Get out of here! You know what I should've done was power jump, because it's a bug type, and rock is super effective against bugs, so I don't know why I didn't do that. Sure, I'll give you my number, because I give everybody my number, and they call me at the most inopportune times, usually, after your Pokemon has just died. So why don't you join the club? Ooh, Route 26! Oh, we can get an encounter on this route, too. Ooh. Okay, that's really, really, really awesome. I'm really excited about that. Okay, I don't know. Do we want to get one on the water, or do we want to get one in the grass? The grass seems to be high level and different Pokemon from what we've encountered before, whereas the ones on the water are ones we've already seen. And I'd rather not get dupes. Bounce, huh? Uh, that's a physical move, isn't it? Yeah, you're not learning bounce. So give up on that. You are a special attacker. You stay you. Um, focus Ember is better than Focus Energy, I guess, but it's still not a good Pokemon. Or a good. A good move. It's a very weak fire type. Endure. I'm pretty sure Surf's not gonna kill you, so your Endure was useless. Get up out of here. Alright. Let's go in the grass. Erwin, what do you possibly have to say to me right now? I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw you, lovely. I saw you going to the Dragon's Den. I'm certain you passed on. No need to be lost. You have failed. Call you later. Okay, how did you know that? Have you been following me? This is why I don't give my numbers out to strangers, because then creepy people follow me everywhere I go and they say it's normal, and I don't know what to believe, because I'm only ten and my mom didn't teach me strange danger before I left the house. <sighs> Sassy mama. Not doing her job. Protecting her kids from stalkers and pedophiles all alike. That was our encounter for Route 26, wasn't it? It was a mudkip. And I just killed it. Because I was talking and not thinking about it, and didn't even remember that this was a new route that I could have caught a mud kid on to potentially be swamp or case something happened. Jesus. Oh. Okay, well, that is quite saddening. And I'm not dealing with this. See, Joe, you gotta come out here and kind of hold this. Legendary water type Pokemon away. I can't be dealing with her right now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. I feel like there has to be an item hiding over here. No? There has to be an item hiding here. There's no way that this area is opened up down here and there's not something hiding. I see you, Flareon. I just can't capture you because I already fuppered up my freaking route up. Alright, the Pokemon out here are super strong to train against, so I'm cool with fighting them. Oh, it's a great experience for you, Horn Pug. Hell of a good experience for you, Horn Pug. Okay. There's nothing over in that area, but they wouldn't allow me to surf over here unless it was for a good reason. I bet you there's an item on this that's probably good if you're playing the game normally. But it could be realized to any number of things. Okay, so let's see. Are you... are you here? Here? It's gotta be an item finder. Or something. Paddle Bell, Reverse Recorder. I thought we had an item finder. Maybe not? Was I just imagining us having it? There's gotta be a reason. So we're gonna check every single space. Because I refuse to believe- there it is! And there's an escape rope that we could have used hella forever ago. But you know, huh, whatever, it's fine. Hella forever. Hella forever. Yeah, I'm good. I don't want to face you, Salamence. You're only level 20. So boom. I don't want to beat you. Etran. Now that is a legendary steel fire type Pokemon that would have been really, really cool. It's a capture. Ooh. 
She was looking all sassy as the volcano pulled the gun. Like it. Alright, Nitra, I see you, girl. Not so you're coming after me. What this uniform pug booty. And I am not about that. She's taken. So you just gotta stop pursuing it. You gotta accept who she is, accept her boundaries, and respect her wishes. Alright. Let's go ahead and get to the Pokemon Center that I'm pretty sure is flying at the end of the route. For 26. What a damn. Now that's a gentle Pokemon I haven't seen in a hot minute. Oh my goodness. It is grass type, so that's not gonna be useful. Let's run away. I don't wanna be wasting my time with that. Ooh, okay. Uh, there's probably an item in that open patch of grass over there. I would love a place to rest. Thank you very much. You are wonderful. Alright, we're gonna come over here. Is it right here? No? There's a house there, though. So there's probably... Metagross? I think I a Metagross? Oh, it's another really, really good single legendary. And I killed the Mudkip that was on the map. So Mudkip was like a weird extra encounter that's not even... A Giratina! Okay, now you're just being sassy. You're showing me a Rayquaza that I could have gotten, but wasn't able to get. Now you're showing me Giratina and Metagrosses and Heatrans, and I can't deal with the level of sass that you're pushing onto me right now, so I'm just gonna see you out here. And we're just gonna power gen you, because I can't think of anything else to do. We're just gonna power gen you out of existence. Get out of here, Giratina. You're gonna be a hell of a wonderful experience. You both Beautiful baby boy. Boom. Alright. Now I came all the way out here to see you, house, so you better be something useful. What is this? There's something written here. Read it. To my brothers and sisters, we take pride in serving Pokemon trainers. When trainers talk to you, give them something useful. Love, Monica. Uh, Monday, Monica. Tuesday, Tuscany. Wednesday, Wesley. Thursday, Arthur. Friday, Frida. Saturday, Santos. Sunday, Sunny. Oh, uh, this is the days of the week for people's houses depending on what day of the week it is in your game, because they were really trying to push the whole daytime, nighttime, morning, evening thing that went with your DS's internal clock. And whatever day of the week it was as well, they really wanted to integrate the whole the DS can tell your daytime and make the Pokemon specific to that. Which was cute, and it's a good idea. That's a good way to um, promote that feature. But for our emulation, I don't know if it follows the and time on my computer, or how that works entirely, but... Ooh, that's not good. But I'm faster than you, and it half damage, so... I'm not gonna be too worried about it. Yes, I will switch. It's a chair. I can handle a freaking chair. I am now seven levels higher than when I was trying to attack the chair before. So, get out of here! Sky attack! Boom! Get that son. Get in. And we got 4,000 experience, which is wonderful! We never went back to Kurt to go get the yellow apricorn that we gave him all that long super time ago. Ooh, which way did we go? This way probably leads... Oh, nowhere. Okay. It's gonna make us go the harder route of traveling upwards. Makes sense. Makes, makes total sense. I'm not sure how much longer we have to go before we reach the top of the mountain. Because I think at the end of this route is Victory Road, and after we get through Victory Road, we get to the Elite Four. The Pokemon trainers out here are really high levels, though. And it makes me nervous because my Pokemon are even level 45 or what they probably even need to be in order to have a chance of taking out the Elite Four. So we're definitely going to have to do some grinding, not just for. Romanoff, but for our entire team in general. That's for sure. Flygon is really cool because it's dragon ground type, which is why my magical rule is neutral against it, because dragon resistant and ground is super effective, so together it's neutral. Which is pretty cool. Sure, I've already given it to a different ace trainer, so you can just take it. You guys can compare notes about me, because I know that's what you do in your free time. I walk away, you look at me, and you're like, oh, what did you think of it? You guys just Because you have nothing better to do with already level 28. Oof, I like it. I see you suck punching me, Spinda. Get out of here. Nobody loves you. Yes, spindly little thing. Yes, we're going to switch out into the Seijo. 
And we are gonna thunderbolt you. Okay, or not. Now we're gonna thunderbolt you into oblivion. Get up out of your team left. Get up out. Okay, I just wanted to be careful. So, Elite Four is right there. We don't have to go through Victory Road. I find that kind of weird. I feel like. Oh god, I didn't realize Unicorn Pug was that low on health. Let's not mess around with that. Let's just go straight into the sea Joe. And Thunderbolt to death. Because it's psychic flying and flying is weak to electric. Ralts? I don't care. I will also Thunderbolt you. Snap, get out of that. Oofed. Okay, yeah, sure, whatever. Everybody wants my number on this route. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's my cologne. I know that it's new and that you guys aren't used to it, but seriously, just, just back off. Only trainers who have proven themselves may pass. Oh, the ink branches of Jojo, please, go right on. Um, okay. Oh, there. This way, least can't tell the cat's blocked for the time being, I'm afraid. Alright, but oh, thou over here. That way, please, Mount Silver, and you'll see scary strong Pokemon out there. You're not ready for it. Alright, thank you for telling me how to live my life, Dad. Yep, and this is Victory Road. Okay, so we can get an encounter in here, but I'm not going to do that. Because we'll save that for the next episode. I instead would like to go back to the healing house. Am I able to fly there? Is that considered a Pokemon Center or not really? No, it's not. We can fly back to Victory Road though, which is really nice. So we can go down here, collect whatever item this is. And at Spearberry, we can be unfrozen because we get frozen so much in this game, and we definitely need that. But we can come over here, get healed back over to Victory Road or just run back up there and then end the episode. Because that is ah, baseballs! This has been quite the roller coaster of an episode. Our team's coming along really well. Before we even take on the Elite Four, we're gonna need to have our, all of our Pokemon at level 45. Just that is going to have to be the minimum with one Pokemon at least at level 50. So for now, we are going to save the game, and I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for coming along on this journey with me. If you enjoyed the episode, remember to drop a like down below if you have not already, and subscribe if you have not, with the notification bell run so you don't miss any new episodes that come out. This series is usually out on Mondays. This week, like I said, was kind of weird, but thank you guys for being patient with me and understanding. I love you guys, and I love producing content, so it makes me sad when I can't stick to my schedule, but you guys get to double upload today, so woohoo! Without taking up anywhere else time, though, I will go ahead and let you people go, Lyra! I'm doing my outro! You can just shh, 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 Whatever you have to say is not nearly as important as what I have to say. So get out of here. Get out of here. Now that her rudeness is done, without taking up anywhere else time, I will go ahead and let you beautiful people go. Goodbye, my loveliest. Three, two, one, go!